Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble the Springfield trap door. Shoot the 4570 round, flat nose round, all lead. This one has been sporterized. Some idiot cut the stock off of it. I bought this at a gun show several years back. A lot of people cut them down to make uh, hunting rifles out of them. Yeah, the first thing you want to do is make sure the rifle's unloaded. Open up your breech block. Nothing in there. Totally empty. <clears throat> and you want to remove your barrel band. This one's only got one since it's been sporterized. You can see it's spring loaded. Usually they'll tap off. It's got a little groove right here. You can take I take an old screwdriver. Usually they'll tap right off. Remove that from your barrel. And now you got a screw on top. Right here, you take out to remove your stock. And your stock should lift right out of it. Now we're going to remove the lock. This part here. Two screws on the side. And you want to make sure you make note of your length of your screws. I always do that when you remove your screws from a gun. That should lift right out. I wouldn't recommend taking any of this apart unless you've got a spring lock. I would just clean it like it is because that is very stiff. Usually that's all you need to do to this. And you want to remove your trigger guard and your trigger housing. A couple screws in it. And that should lift right out. The trigger's pretty simple, straightforward. Nothing fancy about it. And you set your stock to the side. And you want to open up your breech block here. You can see you've got a pin on the side and then you've got a, a straight section on the other side. You want to drive this pin out. Make sure your breech block is open. I'll lay it on a couple plastic uh, screwdrivers here. Usually take a punch, but I didn't have a punch the right size. I'll use a drill bit. It should come out fairly easy. And you want to watch when you take this out because you'll have your 
shell ejector will pop out so I'm going to hold that with my finger and that will slide right out of there and you should have a Now we'll disassemble the breech block. We're going to first remove the latch. You see on the side, you've got a screw. You need to remove the screw. Now we'll remove our firing pin right there. Got a screw on the bottom of it. Take that dude out. Firing pin should slide right out. And you can see on your firing pin slope for the top. It's got a little recess in it. Watch your screw holds it. That way your firing pin will operate. Now it's totally disassembled. You can clean it, whatever you need to do to it. Like I say, you always want to inspect your firing pin. Make sure it's not bent, broke, or good shape. Now we'll put everything back together. Take your firing pin, slide it in your uh, your opening, line up your little uh, recessed hole where your screw goes. Snug it, snug it up pretty good. Make sure your firing pin moves. We're in good shape. Once you get your firing pin in, take your spring. You have a flat end and a pointed end. Put your flat end in the hole. You want to take your pivot on your latch and your latch itself, keep the latch above the pin and then as you put it in you want to push down on it to recess your spring. And once you get it started you can hold it. And your retainer plate to go right back on. Start your screw back. Snug it up pretty good. Everything works good. We're in good shape. When you go to put your breech block back in your rifle, take your spring, your little pin, put it in your hole. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this or not. Kind of hard to do. Not hard, it's just hard to film it. 
take your ejector with a little indentation where the pin goes slide it in like that I'll take your breech block get it get it started Now you want to may, may, uh, push down toward your sight with your breech block. You want to make sure to pay attention on your uh, your pen on your opposite side you got the finger you've got a tit you want to make sure it goes in this hole on your barrel receiver get it turned around lined up and it should go flush You can hear the shell ejector click when it's operating properly. And we're going to put a trigger guard back on. And we'll put our lock back in. It just sits in place. Give it a little tap. And reinstall our screws. Set your barrel and your stock. Then you want to check your action, make sure you're good. And that's a total disassembly and reassembling the 1878 trapdoor Springfield.